Hey guys, in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do this look. So if you like it, continue watching. I already did my eyebrows off camera, and today I'm actually going for a, let's say kind of like winter wonderland meets 2018. Um, we're going to Zoo Lights, which is like very Christmassy, a lot of beautiful lights, and I just want to go with the theme. Elf Mineral Infused Face Primer. And I've used it maybe once or twice before. I'm not really a fan of it just because I feel like it gets me really oily. Like it feels oily and I'm already like an oily girl. But you know what, let's give it another chance. We are going to prime our eyelids with, again, Urban Decay Shadow Primer. It's one of my favorites, obviously you know. So the primer actually helps your eyeshadow to go in smoother and stay longer. Today we're using the Balm Matrimony. I love this one. I've had it for a while actually, it's not new. Um, ooh, I forgot, it has a mirror. So again, we're gonna go lightly. We're going to use Matt Lynn, Mr. Matt Lynn. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of plum, mauve but cold look. So we're gonna be using a lot of burgundy and purple. Start off with Matt Kumar. Lightly. And we just wanna, this is like the initial transition color. I'm going to go in a little deeper with a darker color. But this one will give it more dimension. All right, now we're going in with Matt Moskowitz. And this is more of a, I don't know if you can see it, it's this color right here. It's more of a darker plum. So let's see how this goes. Ooh, I like it already. So I am like a super fan of Christmas time. I love, like right now I've been buying a lot of Christmas decor. I'm going for like a white Christmas. Um, tell me, like where do you guys buy your Christmas decor? Cause I've been going to Home Goods, I've been going to Ross, I've been going to Target and it's hard. It's like there's no one place where you could find all of the products that we need. Like. Tell me, is there anything else that I should be checking out that I'm missing? And again, so going in with a lighter color and then going back in with a darker color definitely gives it more dimension and it opens up your eyes. So if you have small eyes, this is a really good trick to use different colors. It gives it so much dimension. Okay, we're gonna be using the ColourPop Golden State of Mind palette and this palette is honestly perfect for the holidays. It has so many glitters, so many different types of glitters. And going in with the color Girlfriend, and that would be this color here. So it turns out this combination actually came out looking very holographic, and I loved it. Make sure to clean up any residue. And now let's put on our eyeliner. And we're gonna add some mascara to our top eyelashes just so it could blend in with the fake eyelashes. So you don't wanna blow on it, so I've heard, because um, it's just like bacteria coming from your mouth, like, and you're putting it in your eye. You know, you don't want pink eye. going in with my NYX Cosmetics, again, my favorite foundation right now, in Natural Tan. Let's do this. Just 
beat that face. I'm gonna beat it. And don't forget to blend even down to your neck so we could match our body. Next foundation, like if you actually go to one of their stores, ask ask like a, a clerk to get you color matched. They have the machine that they just like put it next to your 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 forehead, your neck, your cheek, and then it tells you what color is your perfect color. I love it. So I'm going in with my ColourPop concealer. You already know. I love this one. And blend it. <laughs> So what I love about this beauty blender, it's like it's pointy, so it's so easy to manage. Look at that, oh. And it's super fluffy too. Very, very fluffy. And of course, make sure that your beauty blender is moist, not like drenched, but just like, um, just moist because it then it's easier to manage the product like how much product you're adding how you're not taking away too much of what you're you're putting on I love it oh man my chinguito was falling <laughs> so we're going in with our it cosmetics press powder and like I said we're gonna put it all over my forehead maybe bake a little here for uh, nose and then just a little here wherever you feel like you're oily the most just so we're gonna bake it I'm running out guys so I'm gonna buy more but that's how much I've used mine I really really truly believe in it too and then just add it all over. And for the oily girls with no eyebrows, I would suggest to dab it on your eye, your eyebrows. And it helps so there isn't any smudging throughout the day. And then since I'm running out of time, I'm not gonna bake that long. And I'm using my e.l.f. Um, bronzer palette and it's actually it has like four different I don't know if you can see it it has four little different types of bronzer and I'm just going in with the darkest one and even though you can't see it it does do its job and I'm also using an elf cosmetics um, contouring brush And I love that it comes with a mirror too. It's funny how like some of the most expensive palettes don't come with a mirror. Like I don't get it. But yet Elf, and this product is probably like six dollars, and it comes with a mirror. I don't know. Come on, guys. So let's just finish that off right now. And just be very careful not to overdo it. I like that. Just gives it more of drama. Um, and I'm actually going in with a pixie color. It's a uh, the orchid. It's an orchid ornament. How cute is that? Perfect for for the holidays. I love it. So we're going in, and we're gonna open up our eyes by adding it in the inner corners. Huge difference, guys.
There you go, pretty. Let's see. Can you see? I could see it in person. I don't know if you could see it over the camera, but. We just want to give ourselves a smaller nose, right? Right, right. And then just blend it again. And I go in very lightly because I don't want like a very exaggerated look. And then just a little there, a little there. I feel like you can't even see it on the camera. I'm gonna add like a purple eyeliner and this is Delinquent from Urban Decay. And let's see. Awkward. Ooh. Can't. I love that funny face everyone makes when they do their eyeliner. <laughs> Now, how pretty is that? OMG. Oh, I love it. And I'm going to try a new product. It's from Sayati. I hope I'm saying it right. Sayati. It's Glow 2 Highlighter in. Uh, it doesn't say. So doesn't say or I'm not reading correctly, but um, let's see how this one performs. Whoa! I think I put a lot. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Okay. So, that is very, very pigmented. I never expected that. Okay. I did not expect to be that pigmented, but we're gonna work with what we're getting, right? And I'm going to mix it with Luna Highlighter. And this one is in Crescent. So let's see how this one performs. And this is more of like a white one. Oh God. And I feel like this one is giving me what I wanted, which was more of a, um, Winter Wonderland and uh oh uh oh uh oh nice right I like it some setting spray now we're going to put the, the rest of the mascara on our lower lashes Finally, yay, we're finishing. We're gonna do our lips. And this one is from, it's Auburn from MAC. Uh -uh. And we're gonna be using ColourPop's Limbo. Tell me why I'm using like the small compact when I have a bigger mirror. Ay, ay, ay. And let's see.
silence. <laughs> We're going in with our Dose of Colors Over the Top Lip Gloss. So although you can't see it on camera, Over the Top actually has a lot of gold specks, so it's like a holiday in your mouth. just to give it more of a festive look so there you have it that is the finished look I hope you guys like it I was going for more of a icy winter wonderland with a little bit of mauve in it and I like it I like it it's very um to me it's very Christmassy so I hope you guys enjoyed my video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time oh and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe and if you actually really did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Again, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. See you guys next time.